So once I have um, some arrays created, uh, there's some built-in functions I can use to mess around with them. And I'm going to show you some of those, but there's many, many more um, that you can access online through the PHP's documentation. Um, but the first one I've got, remember this array of sodas and this array of juices. Um, the first combined little uh, function I'm going to show you lets you sort of merge two arrays together and it returns a new um, big array. So uh, let's make a big array called drinks. And I want to merge these guys that I have into that big array. So I'll say merge the soda and the juice array, and it will spit out a larger array. Um, and I'm going to save it in this thing called drinks. Let me just edit my loop down here so we see the combined one um, drinks. So let me save this, refresh my page over here. So now I've got my elements from my soda array and my elements from my juice array, and they've all been combined. So that's array merge. Okay. Um, there is a function that lets me uh, reverse an array, so it'll flip the order of it. So let's just do that to drinks real quick. And the way that that function looks is the word array reverse, and then I pass it the array I want to flip. So I'm going to save that back inside drinks. So now drinks should be flipped. So remember, it was the soda first. Um, so I flipped it, and now it's backwards order. So I can totally reverse my array with array reverse. Um, there's some other sorts I can do. Um, the sorts are a little bit different from this function because they just operate internally. They don't actually return it. Um, they just edit it um, internally. So I don't have to save the result of that. But if I ask this thing to sort, it should sort my drinks into alphabetical order. Let's see. Yeah, Capri Sun, Coke, Pepsi, Sprite, Welch's. That looks right. If I want that instead of ascending alphabetical order, if I want it um, in backwards alphabetical order, then there's a variation called R sort for reverse sort. And so let me show you that. So now Welch's is first, and it goes in descending alphabetical order. Um, so those are some sort things. There's also one that will shuffle, um, and that will just scramble the list. So each time this runs, it should give me a... Uh, a random order of things and so you see they keep moving around and there's no ness it's not necessarily any order to it but that will scramble it so if I need to mix a list of things up then shuffle will do that for me um, another thing I can do is I can select a random element from an array so let me show you that so I'm going to comment this part out actually so I don't get the whole list for a minute okay so let's say I just want to choose one drink at random. I could say, okay, I want um, to get a random value. So there is a built-in function that will automatically scale um, within the uh, size of the list. So it's called array rand, and I just put my name and my array in there. That will return to a random index that is definitely in bounds for that array, and then I can use that random index um, to access the elements. So here's my random drink. Let's see what we get. Sprite. Do it again. It's Welch's. Refresh the page again. Sprite again. Keep refreshing. Coke. So that's giving me a random thing. So just to clarify this a little bit more, um, this thing is giving me back a random index. So if I wanted to separate that into a couple steps, to make it a little bit clearer for you, that gives me back a random index as in a number and then I'm going to use the random index to grab out the element inside my array. Okay, so that is how that works. Um, there is a slightly different variant where I can ask for multiple random things. So instead of random index, I'm actually getting random indices. In fact, let's call, um, let's call this something else, um, index list. So if I put here drinks and then comma, let's say two, it's going to choose for me two indexes um, from the array and give me the list of indexes at random. So before we do the, anything with this, I want to show you what this guy is returning. So I print R this guy. Refresh my page over here. So it is choosing for me um, element zero and element one if at that time element zero and then element four. It's going to choose for me two indexes that are definitely in bounds of this list, and then I can use them directly. So here 
I can say grab me out the first one and it itself is in an array. So there's the first one and if I want to see the second one, that's an element one. And so if I refresh this, well, what did I do? Mess this up, Oof, brackets, sorry. Let's wear brackets, all right, there we go. So I get Welch's and Capri Sun, Coke and Capri Sun, Pepsi and Sprite. So it's giving me multiple things, and so I can change this number to any number of things up to the total number of elements on the list, um, and it'll give me that list. Okay. Um, there's another thing that you might want to do. Let me get rid of some of this business and show you what this looks like. So let me first go up here to my drinks array, and I want to add in some duplicates so I can show you what this works like. So let's put Coke in there again, and let's put, uh, oops, let's put Welch's in there again. I just want to show you, verify that those things are in there and duplicated. So here I've got Coke there and there. I've got Welch's there and there. There is a function that will remove duplicates for you. So um, it is the words array unique. So let's say I want to get rid of all the duplicates. Um, I can save that back inside my drinks array. Or I can save it in a new one. So let's like no dupes. Let's call it that. Um, so this will be like array unique and here I give it the thing I want to get rid of the duplicates from let me just change what is printing down here so this is no dupes all right up here now I've lost that second coke and the second welches because those were duplicate values um, I could also just save this back inside the drinks array um, if I wanted to edit it permanently and then I've lost the duplicates that were added just to verify that that works yes indeed okay so that'll remove duplicates and keep only unique values. Um, and then the last thing I want to show you is that you can um, perform a search. There's a built-in search function um, that'll tell you where something's located. And so here's what that looks like. Let me get rid of this guy. Actually, I'm comment it out so I don't lose it. Okay. Uh, let's get rid of this line. All right, so let's say I want to search um, for Coke. Coke is found at index, oops, and then we'll say array, search, I want to look for something specific, so that's what I'm looking for, and then here is the name of my array, it's drinks, and so it should tell me where Coke is found, let's see if that works. Coke is found at index zero, yeah, because it's the first thing in my list, so it's going to return um, the first spot in the array where I found that thing if there are duplicates of it.